Hey everyone, hello, hello. Happy Thursday, happy Veterans Day. Don't do that. Hello, hello everyone, welcome, welcome. We're gonna give it just one minute here for everyone to hop on. We're gonna make sure we're all set up. Happy Thursday, everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day and are excited about our teaching moment activity here. So what we're gonna do is we are just going to let that go. We're gonna do this. There we go. So what I would love is if you guys are here today, drop us a comment, drop us an emoji in the comments there. Let us know that you guys are joining us this morning. And if you're watching the replay, let us know that you guys are catching the replay. So I'm here today, and if you don't know me, I am Miss Christine, Christine Furman, Momspiration412, founder of Eddie Play Learning and Teaching Moments program. I'm super excited for our new program, Teaching Moments. And I'm here with Ella, Alex. Ella and Alex. Alex, my beautiful kiddos. And we are and funny. We are wrapping up. Oh, and funny. You're funny and beautiful. We are wrapping up our school day today with a Veterans Day activities. So, and we're going to make some banana bread, but that's beside yeah. the point. We're going to talk about some Veterans Day activities and some facts and ways that you can support and show love for veterans and thank them in your community, neighborhood, um, wherever it may be, or you may even, may even want to mail this to a veteran that is in your life. So first what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Veterans Day and it's always celebrated on what day? What did we say? It's November 11th. November 11th. And do you remember when the first time it was? A-D-A. 1919. 1919. 1919. And it was called, do you remember? It was called something different. It was called Armistice Day because it became an agreement between presidents and leaders to end World War I in 1918. So then the anniversary, the one year anniversary in 1919, they called it Armistice Day and celebrated that, celebrate, that victory of the ending of the war. Then later, a president, do you remember President Eisenhower? I don't remember the date, but he then changed it to Veterans Day to honor all, um, anyone that serves in the U.S. military. And we learned about the five branches of the U.S. military. Do you think you can help me? Mm -hmm. Do you remember them? The five branches. Army. Army was one. Army. What else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marines. Marines. What about the Navy? Navy. What about in the air? The Air Force. Air Force. Air Force. And the Army. Coast, Coast Guard. Coast, Coast Guard. Guard. And the Coast Guard. So there are five branches of the U.S. military, and anyone that serves in any of those branches um, that has served for our country is a veteran. And these are people that are still living, and that's where we honor the veterans. And we can also serve, this is something that we're going to do, we're also going to thank those that are currently serving. So in our community, we have a, a families that have active military um, personnel, and we are going to make little care packages for them. So we're going to show you today what we're going to do, and then if you guys are interested in grabbing a um, a little uh, thank you Veterans Day card here or paper, you guys can let me know. Drop an emoji below or um, put a comment there or, or you can send me a message personally and I can get you this PDF here. And what we're gonna do is we are just going to make a little care package. So what we have here is the kiddos Water. started to to make theirs, right? Let me try mm -hmm. and get theirs. So they already started to do theirs. They can add a little color to these and they signed it with their names. Thank you, Ella. You guys can add some color to that if you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay. so while, while they start coloring, I'm gonna bring the crayons right here for them to color. 
what we're gonna do is we are going to just take a water bottle and you can do anything. You could do chips or cookies or, you know, just making a little kind of a care package just to say thank you. And it's not even a care package, it's doing, just- like a little Halloween candy. Right, we're just gonna do some Halloween candy um, just as an appreciation, just to say thank you. It doesn't have to be a big deal. It doesn't have to be anything. It could just be the card, but this is gonna be a great opportunity for us to to give with our heart and to thank those tell them that um, have served and do currently serve our country. Can I tell them? Something? Yes. Um, if you have Chinese candy, don't do <laughs> Okay, it. all right. All right, so he said a specific kind of candy. He said it was not that great, but that's okay. So what we have here is while they finish coloring. I'm um, done. You, you can, yeah, you can be done. We have some chocolate and we have some. Oh, okay, one more thing. Um, we have some other candy here. So all they're gonna do is they're just gonna get a Ziploc bag. So I just have some Ziploc bags here. I have little bottles of water and I have some candy. Like I said, it could be bags of chips, it could be crackers, it could be bottles of water. Um, Ella made a good point. What if they have allergies. allergies, which is a very good possibility. And that's definitely something that maybe you want to be aware of and maybe not give peanuts. But also people do know if they do have allergies, they're most likely just not going to eat it. So, all and right, Ella, all kind of go ahead. You can, you can make a little care package. Families in allergy like it, they could also go to their air family. That's true. So, what they're going to do is they are just going to make a few care packages. I'm already almost done. Perfect. Um, and we're just going to drop it off to one of our neighbors. And then we're going to, I put even in our neighborhood Facebook page, if there's any veterans in our um, community, like to let us know. And we would drop off a little uh, package for them. All right, that's enough. Not, not all in one bag. You want to make some other bags. You only want to give them a little bit. That's, they really are thanking them. Here. All right, give another bag. Make another bag. That's good for one person. Mm, too many sweets, right? All right. That is all we have for today. So I hope that you guys have learned about a little bit about Veterans Day. I hope that you guys are able to thank a veteran and something to, even if you see a veteran on the street, you can just give them a thank you and say, what branch of the Army did you serve in? And they may be very interested to share with you how they served our country and you know be willing to share their story so it's always such a great opportunity to hear other people's stories as to where they were and what happened and the experiences that they I have love had. listening to any story I know all right guys that is what we're gonna do today I hope you have a great day if you need any um, if like I said if you would like the Veterans Day activity sheet please let me know oh, and, and I hope and to We're see you guys all soon. Have a great day. Happy Veterans Day to everyone. And remember, see, see each moment, moment as, as a chance to learn, create, and have fun. Bye, Bye guys. guys.